our even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. Our odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. There isn't really a trick to this, and you just have to remember what each number is. So 3 is odd, 6 is even, 12 is even, because it's only the, the digit in the 1's place that really matters. Uh, 30 is even, 27 is odd, 98 is even, 19 is odd, 45 is odd, 38 is even because it ends in 8, 79 is odd because it ends in 9, 12 is even because it ends in a 2, 54 is even because it ends in a 4, 64 is even because it ends in a 4, 38 is even because it ends in an 8, 81 is odd because it ends in a 1, and 77 is odd because it ends in a 7. Okay, write in expanded form. So essentially the expanded form is each of these separate parts broken down. So you have 316,723. So if you pretend that it's only this 3 right here, then this would become 300 thousand plus and then you go down to the next one which is ten thousand plus six thousand plus seven hundred plus twenty plus three so this is the expanded form this is just like a larger way of writing what you would do to get this so same thing here 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 9. 10,000, no, 11,000 plus 1,000 plus, there's, this is a zero, so it's nothing. So then you just skip to the next one, you go 10 plus 2. You can add zero if you really wanted to, but there'd be no real difference. 700,000 plus 40,000 plus 9,000 plus 200. And again, you can add zero, but you don't really need to. And then seven. So this is 80,000. Plus one thousand plus four hundred plus sixty plus five. So this is not ten thousand no, this is ten thousand plus nine thousand plus two hundred plus seventy plus three. This is 800,000 plus 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 900 plus 10 plus 2. This is symbol 700 plus 10 plus 3. So basically you're just breaking down each of the columns and then writing it down in its full form. Predict the next number in each pattern. So from 50 to 70 is the skip of 20. So that. And then from 70 to 90, it's 20 again. And 90 to 110, it's 20. So that means the next number would also be plus 20, which is 130. So the next one. So this one, you subtract 5, you subtract 5 again, and then you subtract 5 again, which gets you 95 minus 5, which is 90. This one, you add 10, you add 10 again, and then you add one more time, you add 10, 
which gets you to 622. So for this one, 235 to 335 is 100. Um, you add 100 again for 335 to 435. And then you add 100 again. And following this pattern, you know you add 100. So 535 plus 100 is equal to 635. 657. To get to 657, you add 10. 670, to get to 677, you add 10. To get to 687, you add 10. That means from there, you add one more 10, and you get 697. Here, same thing, 712 to 715, you add 3. Add 3. Um, add 3. Add three one more time, and you get 724. 231 plus, to 331 is plus 100. To 431, plus 100. 100, and then plus another 100. And then one more gets you to, um, you get 631. This one's simple. You add one, add one, add one. You're essentially just counting at this point. So after 104, it comes 105. Word problems. Lily is arranging her toy cars in a line. Cars in a line. She starts with two cars and adds three more each time. How many cars will she have after four rounds of adding three? So she starts with two, and she adds three every round. And she has four of them, so it's one, two, three, four rounds. So she's adding three more cards. So it's two plus three, which is five, plus three again, which is eight, plus three again, which is 11, plus three again, which is 14. So after four rounds of adding cards, she is at 14 cards. Sam has 20 marbles, okay, and he loses two marbles every day for a week. So minus two, and after seven days, he will be left with 20 minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 marbles. So it's 20 minus 2, which is 18. 18 minus 2, 16. 16 minus 2, 14. 14 minus 2, 12. 12 minus 2, 10. 10 minus 2, 8. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. So 6 marbles are missing. You want to share them equally among 4 baskets, but you could do 36 divided by 4, but if that's too complicated, you can draw your 4 baskets, and then you can pick off an apple in each basket in order. So basically, we would do 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, and keep going until you have gone through all 36 apples. So if you guys would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way to 36. So finish doing your tallies. And then once you're done with your tallies, you can count the tally marks. This isn't that neat, but you can still kind of see the tally marks. So to count this, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the answer would be nine apples will go in each basket. Lilia has 15 crayons that she dips into Paris. Will there be an even number of crayons in each pair? Will one crayon be left over? How do you know? So the answer is no, that it cannot be evenly grouped into pairs because pairs essentially means two of them. And because anything, an odd number divisible by two will never be able to have nothing left over. And since 15 is an odd number, we will be one with, we will have one left over. So, because 15, you can make seven pairs with it, but you will still have that one left over because you, you're not divisible. So, the answer is no, you will have one left over.